The Ants and the Speedy Snail There was in a bustling forest, there was a busy ant colony, and in that colony lived a bunch of super energetic ants who believed they were the fastest creatures in the world. They had tiny feet, after all, and thought their scurrying was unmatched. One sunny morning, while the ants were racing around, gathering food for winter, they stumbled upon Gary, a snail who was casually munching on a leaf. Hey, look! It's Gary the snail, said Annie, one of the fastest ants. He's so slow. How does he ever get anywhere? The ants burst into laughter. He probably started that leaf last year, chuckled Anthony. Gary, however, just smiled in his slow, snaily way. You may be quick on your feet, my little friends, he said, but speed isn't everything. The ants exchanged confused looks. What do you mean? We're faster than anyone, boasted Alex, the strongest ant. We'd leave you in the dust in any race. Gary chuckled. Well, how about we race then? From here to the big oak tree and back. The ants nearly fell over laughing. A race with Gary? The snail? This would be easier than finding crumbs at a picnic. Deal, they all shouted. Prepare to be left in the slime, giggled Annie. The ants got into position, buzzing with excitement. Gary, with his slow and steady movements, just positioned himself at the starting line, looking calm. Ready. Set. Go, yelled the ladybug referee. The ants zoomed off in a blur, sprinting toward the oak tree. Gary, on the other hand, inched forward at his usual, relaxed pace. As the ants raced ahead, they started bickering about who was the fastest. Out of my way, Annie, shouted Anthony. No, you get out of my way. Annie huffed, tripping over a twig. Meanwhile, Gary just kept sliding along, humming a little tune as he went. By the time the ants reached the oak tree, they were so tired from all their bickering and zigzagging, they collapsed under its shade for a quick nap. We'll finish the race when we wake up, they muttered, dozing off. But Gary? Oh, he just kept gliding along, not stopping for a single break. He finally reached the oak tree, circled it, and then, without even realizing, passed the snoring ants on his way back. Hours later, the ants woke up, stretched, and noticed Gary was nowhere to be seen. He must still be crawling to the tree, Anthony snickered. They sped off again, but when they arrived at the starting line, there was Gary, enjoying a nice leafy snack, looking quite relaxed. What? How did you beat us? Annie gasped. Gary smiled. Like I said, speed isn't everything. Sometimes, it's about being steady and not getting distracted. The ants stared at each other, stunned, and finally burst into laughter. Okay, Gary, we have to admit it, you're the fastest snail we've ever met. Gary chuckled. Well, I might not be fast, but I always finish what I start. And that's the best kind of speed, don't you think? From that day on, the ants learned that sometimes taking it slow and steady wasn't such a bad idea. And every once in a while, they even invited Gary to their races, though, to be honest, he preferred just watching from the sidelines while munching on his leaves. And so... In the end, the ants and Gary the Speedy Snail became the best of friends, sharing races and snacks, but most importantly, lots and lots of laughter. The End